Hello everybody, Steve here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the display settings and the fixed and adjustable voltage on the new PowerWorks SPS 30DM power supply. It's a 30 amp power supply by PowerWorks. Very, very nice power supply. I've had it for a few days and it works excellent. So let's get started. On the front we have a power indicator, we have an alarm indicator when there's a short or it's uh, you're, you're drawing too much amperage out of it, your power switch, your adjustable and fixed voltage switch, and your pot to adjust the uh, adjustable voltage. All right, let me get my camera in here to an overhead position. All right, you have three pots up here. These are the ones we're going to be adjusting. And you have another one here. That one will be adjusting. And there's one way down here. If you get this supply, you'll see it right down there. Don't touch that. That adjusts your amperage. You don't need to do that. We're going to be adjusting uh, first the adjustable voltage. So what you want to do is you want to go up front here. You want to make sure that this pot is in the center. There's a notch. As you can see it notching in there. Make sure it's centered. Put your switch over to adjustable voltage. And then go to the back and hook up a volt ohm meter. Uh, you want one that's not real cheesy, but it's not critical if you're off, you know, uh, a couple tenths of a volt. Uh, I use the power ham radio equipment and other things. Hook up your meter. Again, make sure you have adjustable voltage set, and this pot is in the center there in that notch. What we're going to do is we are going to adjust this pot right here. Okay, this sets the voltage for the adjustable. So what you want to do is you want to adjust that to whatever, 13.8 or, uh, you know, 14, whatever, whatever. It comes 14.1 uh, from PowerWorks. They do that because battery backup is used uh, with AT&T and the government and some other people they supply it to. Up front here, you this is going to adjust the adjustable voltage display. So what you want to do is you want to hook up your meter you want to adjust your voltage to 13.8, that's what I have it set at. And then you want to come in up to the front here, and where you have your voltage readout is adjusted right here. This is what this pot is for. So once you get this pot set with your meter back here at 13.8, come up front, look at your reading here. It might be 14, 15, 12, or whatever. You just slowly turn this pot until it comes to... Uh, 13.8 and that's all set your uh, variable is all set then you can come over here to the front and adjust this and you'll see it go up and down of course all right uh, so that sets your adjustable voltage and the adjustable display uh, next we want to go over to fixed and to adjust your fixed voltage you simply use this pot right here uh, have your meter connected and you'll notice when you turn this pot it will all it will not only adjust on the meter but it will adjust on the display also so get that to 13.8 volts. Remember, this is for your fixed voltage. Have your meter connected. Look up front here. And as you're turning this pot here, both your meter and the display in front will adjust. And that's all there really is to it. The center pot here is to adjust your amperage readout. To do that, you're going to need some type of load that's pretty accurate. Uh, to one-tenth, I would say. You definitely want to know the proper amperage you're putting out. Uh, hook that up and then you adjust that and that will adjust your amperage under both variable and fixed. So that's about uh, that's about it. Uh, it's a really nice power supply. I highly recommend it. It uh, it works real well. It's built real well as you can see. It uh, weighs about three and a half pounds. If you have any questions, give me a call uh, or uh, email and I will gladly get back to you. Uh, I've been messing around with it for quite a bit. See the first video. It definitely has uh, uh, some uh, other things in it that this, you know, it's connected. The power is connected to show you what the display looks like. You can probably tell it's just a red LED uh, readout, but it's bright and you can see everything. So remember, this uh, pot right here is for variable. Hook up your meter, adjust this to 13.8, and then come up here. And this is for the display for the variable side. Amperage reading on the meter fixed voltage and output. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Uh, talk to you all later.